G'day everyone, welcome back to another video. We are here today at Cape Cornwall, which is an old mine on the Cornish coast. And we're going on a big walk following the mines up to Batalic and Levant. Um, these mines were like inspiration for the Poldark books and used in like the Poldark TV series. And they're just really beautiful, so really keen for it. That's it, Cape Cornwall stack. This stack was used as the chimneys for the boilers in the mine below. If you've watched any Poldark, you know that all the mines around here were used for tin and for copper. <laughs> that's, that's how they say it in Poldark. Um, it's got a beautiful view from up here. So as you may know, Heinz baked beans are a big deal over here in England. They basically come with every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, depending on what you call the midnight meal, and then your evening meal, dessert, Heinz baked beans, every meal. <laughs> um, turns out Cape Cornwall was bought by Heinz and donated to the National Trust to mark the centenary of Heinz. And I don't know if you can see it, but here, you've got the Heinz logo and the plaque says about how Heinz donated it to the people. Um, pretty cool. Cheers Heinz, good on ya. I'll have some baked beans tomorrow morning. Cheers. So we've been here for about two hours now and still haven't left Cape Cornwall because there's this really beautiful little cove. It's called Priest's Cove. Priest's Cove. And we've seen seals here and we have been playing with the rocks and Malika's been sitting here meditating next to the ocean. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is me. <laughs> this is my spot. Um, yeah. The ocean makes me happy and it's made me realise I definitely want to live next to the sea again one day at some point. It's beautiful isn't it? It's just stunning. Ev everything about it, the smell, the sound, what it looks like, the seaweed, <laughs> the rocks, mm. the colours. Yeah. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Or just a bit longer? Ross. Ross. The mail's <laughs> <laughs> So we got the pronunciation wrong before. We got Batalic, right? That's how you say it. But it's Levant or Levant. Levant. It's Levant, not Levant. Yeah. Wild berries. Like really good blackberries in there. Yum. Do you want? Yeah. 
Ooh. Oh, that good. Yum. I just can't believe how many like mines there are. We've passed heaps already, like all along that cliff, all these like shafts and stuff like that. This is gonna be a cool walk. So on this walk, we just saw a sign from the National Trust explaining a bit about this valley. And it was saying that the waterways and the bridges that we've crossed over were all used to power like water wheels and to deliver water to the steam engines. Um, and this whole valley was like covered in mines until the 1870s where tin was cheaper to get from overseas. But all the ruins and everything is still here and you can see the old mine shafts and you can definitely see like the waterways because there's still water in them. And like all the way down to the coast and the beach and the rocks, it's just so stunning. <sighs> Top of the cliff. Canada Jack Castle. Pretty small castle. <laughs> there's um there's ruins and stuff all around though, so I'm assuming that it was um, quite big. So there's actually heaps of buildings there. Um, and they, but they were all like sunken into the ground. Um, so I don't know if like the land's risen over the castle or whatnot. But that was pretty cool. Now we're on to the final stretch to Vitalik. Um, I really want to see the mine that they call Grambler Mine in Poldark. It's r like right on the edge of a cliff. Um, the photos look really cool. I can't wait to see it in person. Just walking from the castle now, and I was counting the mines that we've gone past and the ones with the stacks that we can see. 13! 13 mines so far that we can see. There's probably more that we can't see. Um, there's one here that looks like Wheel Leisure <laughs> from Poldark. Pole dark. And um, I swear we must be close to. There it is. What's it called? Grambler. Grambler. Grambler mine from Pole Dark. It's pretty cool. Captain Ross seems like a fair man. I'm gonna go see if he's got some work for me. <laughs> you dork. <laughs> You can see all like, like lines of stones and stuff like that. Like there were all these old buildings all around here that like, this must have been huge and this is the only thing that's left. Like there's heaps of them all around just covered in bushes. So I don't know 100%, but I think the way it worked was there was a big platform up the top made of wood with like a big like wheel that would hang over here. And then that would drop like ropes down here into the shaft like an elevator to lift like people and ore and stuff up and down from the shaft. Um, so I think this here is the mine shaft that's been filled in um, as much as I can see but these are what's like dotted all over the cliffs. It's really cool being in an old mine. What's that behind you? That behind me is Wheel Leisure. Or Will Owls. So this mine here is called Wheel Owls and it's the mine that was used in Poldark as Wheel Leisure. This one actually has a huge shaft at the front that's like barred off so you can't get into it. It's a really cool one. And that one there is Batalic Mine which is Grambler from Poldark. Just stunning, isn't it? Just trying to get that perfect drone shot when this 
big rain cloud is coming over but then we discover it's a no-fly zone packing it up again i'm just sitting here on the cliff looking out over the Batalic mine it's absolutely spectacular here just the cliffs and the rough waves like lapping at the rocks the mine on the edge of the cliff everything is really really beautiful and i should probably stop sitting here because a huge rain storm cloud is coming over and um yep we might get stuck in it we're pretty far from the car and pretty far from where we wanted to end up so let's go so in there is this big mine shaft and it's like fully fenced off because there's no bottom to it it just goes like all the way down there's another one over there that one's got a big like grill on the top of it and they just go so far down um, it's crazy how many of them there are around here like we've just come over the ridge and there's like six more mines that I can see and actually we're walking over about four of them now absolutely wild the scenery is just stunning too there's Malika up ahead need to catch up because we're running late for the Levant mine this one's got a um, it's called like a beam engine um, I don't really know what it's for I guess we'll find out when we're there um, and it was the inspiration for Wheel Grace um, just found out the Wheel Grace we think was filmed back at Wheel Owls same place as Wheel Leisure was filmed they just did like some tricks to make it look like it was a bit different I'd say this is the Levant beam engine and mine um, which is run by the National Trust and we're members so it's free for us which is awesome um, so we're gonna go check it out now so just saw this sign here and found out that this mine goes like all the way down under the seabed it goes a mile out to sea and 550 meters below sea level just gonna do some jigging what's that do that um, pushes all the smaller bits with more copper in them down to the bottom and everything on top is like the waste bits that doesn't have much value to it and they pick that out get rid of it and collect all the copper just made it in time to tag on the back of the mine tour at the van and we're heading underground now Stop. bath now What's that for? for the miners to jump in and cool off and wash down Crazy. after a big day at work so we're in the engine room right now and it's really hot So the steam engine behind me was used to bring ore up and down the skip shaft um, and it's the oldest beam engine in the world that was used for a skip shaft. Um, seeing it move and seeing it go up and down like the inner workings of it were, were quite amazing. They had a big like black um, coal boiler in there that was used to boil the water and turn it into steam to make the, um, make the ropes rotate to pull the ore up and down. So what did you think of that? That was really cool. Are you happy with our pole dark tour of Cornwall? Yeah, my favourite part today was, my favourite part today was Wheel Leisure and Grambler and my all time favourite part of the pole dark tour of Cornwall was our video from yesterday which you should check out, we'll link it down below. Um, when we went to Holywell Bay. That was the best. 
Thanks for watching guys and coming along with us on the journey along the mines today. Really hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button to keep up to date with our adventures here in Cornwall and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. To Mauser, my true love. <laughs> <laughs> I am Ross Poldark. <laughs> yeah.